Hey, Royal Family, it's Cash Me Out. I am Queen Supreme, and I'm back at you again for another video. Now, I had touched base on this story on my other page, regular Cash Me Out. I am Queen Supreme, um, where we talked about little Armani Hill and Leila Hill, um, who Leila Hill is now in the hospital um, fighting for her life. Armani Hill died. Um, at the hands of the stepfather. However, the mother has been arrested as well. Now, this whole situation happened in Natchez, Mississippi. And today, I would like to read you an article because the biological father apparently has been looking for these children for over a year into which the mother had taken them from Detroit, which they both lived at. So this article that I'm going to read to you today, Royal Family, is WLBT3, and it says, Father of severely abused Natchez girls says that he has been searching for them for a year. Now, this article came out June 10th, 2019. Let's get into it. Natchez, Mississippi. According to the father of two little Natchez girls, he had no idea where his children were or that they were being abused. Deontay Hill is now in Mississippi trying to see the body of four-year-old Armani and to visit three-year-old Leila in the hospital. I haven't seen them for about a year, said Hill. He traveled to Natchez from his Detroit home after his family learned on social media that Armani died Thursday and his daughter, Leila, was in the hospital after being severely beaten by their mother's boyfriend. It's a lot to take in. It's terrible, terrible, terrible loss. And I'm just trying to be strong because I've got to think about my daughter's recovery, said a heartbroken Hill. My main focus is just trying to get them to, to come back home with me. The 29-year-old construction worker said that the child's mother, Lakeisha Jones, took them from his Michigan home and never returned, later cutting off all communication with him. He said he was not aware that the girls were being abused. He had broken up. Wait, we had broken up and she told me that she was going to take the kids to a birthday party, says Hill. I asked her to make sure they make it back to the house at a decent time and she never came back. A few weeks after that, she gave me a call and said that she was in Louisiana. Natchez police officer Walter Armstrong held a news conference Friday reporting that on Wednesday, the girl's mother left them with the boyfriend, James Christopher Anderson, at a home on Lafayette Street in Natchez. Investigators said he severely beat them, then walked with them to the mother's apartment about a fourth a mile away. The children were then taken to Merritt Hospital in Natchez. Armani was pronounced dead Thursday afternoon and Little Leila was transported to University of Mississippi Medical Center in Jackson. Adams County Coroner James Lee said that Armani's death, Armani died of blunt force trauma to her head, neck, and abdomen. DHS has opened a case up on these kids due to previous injuries twice, says Chief Armstrong. DHS has recently closed the case. Monday, Hill said he had not been allowed to see Armani's body or Leila, who had been, who was told has undergone surgeries, but remains in critical condition. He also said that he has reached out to Jones's mother and family and has gotten no response. The grieving father and his fiance, Monet Ivory, have set up a GoFundMe page, Justice for Leila and Armani Hill, to help with funeral and medical expenses. 25-year-old Jones and her 
year old boyfriend Anderson remain in the Adams County Jail charged in connection with the death and beatings. The girl's mother is charged with two counts of de deprivation. Anderson is charged with two counts of felonious abuse. Chief Armstrong said Jones began cooperating with the investigation on Friday. Now, that is the report. Again, that report was from WLBT3. Now, I would like to have you take a look at this short clip, and I'll meet you on the other side with any follow-up commentary. Let's go. Megan and Megan, this is an absolutely heartbreaking story that we've been following since earlier this month. Deontay Hill has been searching for months for his two girls. He thought they were in Louisiana or California. Turns out they were here in Mississippi and in harm's way. Back on June 5th, authorities say Armani and Layla Hill were left at home after their mother, Lakeisha Jones, went to work. She left the children with her boyfriend, James Anderson. While with him, the police chief of Natchez says the little girls suffered in a horrific situation. I won't go into details about what's on the pathology report, but what I will tell you, these children Four-year-old Armani lost her life. Three-year-old Layla sustained injuries that left her in critical condition and is still recovering. Deontay Hill, the father of the girls, lives in Detroit. He says his ex left with his girls more than a year ago, and he tells a Detroit TV station he's been looking for his children ever since. Yeah, I didn't find out where they were until yeah, this happened. Hill found out about the death and abuse of his children on social media. He says the Mississippi Department of Child Protective Services shares the blame in this tragedy. They reportedly investigated multiple cases of alleged abuse before the incident on June 5th. They wanted to help me at the last minute. Like, I got pictures and videos and stuff that I need to show you. Well, why you didn't put the sh uh, show all of this stuff prior to the incident? There ain't nobody trying to reach out to me. Two Mississippi state workers have been suspended over the death of four-year-old Armani. Anderson is charged with two counts of felonious abuse to a child. Their mother, Lakeisha Jones, charged with two counts of child deprivation of necessities with substantial harm. Now, police say if they're convicted, both could face life in prison. Meanwhile, as Deontay Hill deals with the loss of his daughter, Armani, he's still working to bring three-year-old Layla back to Michigan to live with him. Now, first and foremost, I would like to say that at this time, my heart goes out to Deontay Hill. Now, if we find out anything after the fact that he's lying or what is that, manipulating or whatever, then we'll address it. But at this time, I have to be real royal family. Now, I've often talked about situations where women will, you know, the relationship is over with the biological dad and now they're gonna do everything in their power to keep the biological children away from the biological dad. And that is very sad. All around America, shit, all around the world pretty much, this type of situation happens and I do not advocate for that at all. You could very well be two parents that are no longer together, that are both raising that child. Um, I support that. I do not support any woman for any reason or any man taking children and moving them away from another biological parent just to be vindictive and then ultimately to have these child children abused by a boyfriend or a girlfriend, you know, the biological mother or whatever. This type of shit is getting really fucking old. And it's unfortunate that Armani had to lose her life. And we're still hoping that Leila Hill pulls through. Currently, she is still, from what I know, in the hospital. Um, I hope that the body is signed over to the biological father of Armani because clearly who is going to um, bury Armani the way that she needs to be buried and also who is you know going to be able to take care of Leila if um, it's not the biological father it seems to be that there is no um, family of Lakeisha Jones the mother that has stepped forward in any type of way 
that I have seen. If I missed it, please leave the link in the comment description or the comment section. However, um, I'm sorry, this is unacceptable and it is good. However, that, um, the mother, the biological mother, Lakeisha Jones, as well as the, you know, boyfriend of Lakeisha have been arrested and are being charged. This is a new case. Um, I have been trying to follow along with this case, but there has not been that much information released. Um, however, I'm going to try to see if I can get an autopsy or something in this matter. We do know that she died of blunt force trauma. Um, and it's unfortunate again. So Royal family, if you know, if you and the person that you laid down and had a baby with are not together, um, you know, I, I can understand if you don't want to live in the same state or whatever, or eventually you want to move, but we shouldn't just be doing things to be vindictive or to hurt another, another parent. There is no way in hell that this woman should have kept this man from his children for a year only to ultimately ab allow them to be abused or to abuse them because I believe that Lakeisha Jones was abusing her children, not only her boyfriend. I think, again, just like Malia, that um, there was abuse going on from both the boyfriend of the mother and the mother. That's just my thoughts. And until any more information comes out on either case, that is where I'm staying. However, again, Royal Family, I will continue to spotlight this story. Um, I think I originally brought this story to the surface um, in a live stream where we were comparing or looking up very similar stories to Malia's into which children had died or were failed by a mother or a biological parent and also, uh, you know, stepfather or mother or whatever. So this is just one of the many cases that we have looked at and our prayers and everything go out to Armani Hill. Um, you know, now she's an angel, but Leila Hill is still alive. We hope that she pushes through. We hope that everything comes together for the biological father as well, Deontay Hill, as he goes through this grieving process. Now, with that said, Royal Family, I will continue, like I said, to look into this story and bring you any updates on this story as they come about. Much love. Stay you. Stay royal. Stay uncompromisable. Stay woke. And I will see you in another video. Bye-bye.